Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will present a brief overview of infections arising from any tooth. Uh, this is a flow chart showing the potential pathways of extension of deep facial space infections of the head and neck. It shows the infections arising from the maxillary and mandibular teeth, from the maxillary teeth to the vestibular, buccal, canine, infratemporal, orbital space, and cavernous sinus. Similarly, from the mandibular teeth to the vestibular, to the buccal, uh, to the space of the body of the mandible and to the deep neck spaces and finally to the mediastinum. The space is most commonly affected by odontogenic infections and therefore the most common space involvement seen on clinical examination by the dentist or dental specialist are the vestibular buccal and subcutaneous spaces. Infections of the maxillary and uh, mandibular teeth uh, almost always begin as a vestibular space abscess based upon the spread via the path of least resistance through the buccal or lingual plates of the bone. Secondarily, these uh, vestibular infections commonly spread to the canine or infraorbital space in the maxilla and the space of the body of the mandible in the mandible. It appears as uh, if the mandible itself is enlarged by the subperiosteal collection of fluid. The buccal space, which may be commonly involved in infections originating from the maxillary and, and mandibular teeth, is adjacent to the subcutaneous uh, space. Therefore, buccal space infections most commonly drain spontaneously via the skin at the inferior border of the mandible is an orocutaneous fistula or sinus tract. If left untreated, these relatively simple to treat infections can spread to the deep facial spaces of the neck, which are associated with significant patient morbidity. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.